One of the key features of successful video is its thumbnail. Popular streamers and bloggers on YouTube may pay $100 just for one pick. Well, my thumbnail can slightly increase clicks on your video, so let me show you how to create a 3D thumbnail in only 10 minutes. In this tutorial, I'll be using Sketchfire for finding 3D models, Mixima for quick rigging, and Blender for posing and rendering. First of all, for my future thumbnail, I'm gonna pick up a 3D model. I prefer to use Sketchfab for this, it has a big variety of free models to download. I decided to pick this model of Batman from Arkham City. It already has textures and low polygon count, so I press download button and choose proper format. In the next step, after unpacking the model, I open Blender, delete the default cube, then go to File, Import, and choose the format of downloaded model. So here we have our downloaded model. We can check the textures in Material Preview. In order to properly rig this model on Mixamo, we need to separate the cape from the main model. By pressing Tab on a keyboard, we go to Edit Mode and see vertices of the model. Then pressing L, we can pick separated mesh, but this method doesn't work correctly right now, because mesh has some problems. To solve this, select all vertices pressing A in edit mode, then right click to choose merge vertices by distance. Then I can point my mouse to the cape and press L, and then can easily separate the cape using right click separate selection. So we made it into two models. Now we can press H to hide the cape. Choose the main model, then go to File, Export as FBX. In Export Settings, choose Selected Objects, Mesh, uncheck Bake Animations and press Export FBX. Now let's go to the Mixamo.com where we can easily rig our model. Hit Upload Character and choose Exported Model. Place markers on your model and then press next to start auto rigging process. If animation plays correctly, press next button. In animations tab you can choose among various types of animations and poses. You can use the search bar to look for right ones. After customizing the animation, click Download. You can use the default settings. Let's go back in Blender. Hide the previous model using H, then import our rigged model using File Import FBX. And here we have our rigged model. You can see now it has bones. You can display them in front of the model using the checkbox right here. Now, if you switch to pose mode, you can select any bone and rotate using R on your keyboard. So, you can make some changes to the pose if you need. Now let's create a camera using Shift A. Then press N and click Lock Camera to View. So now, if you switch to View Camera, you can position camera as you like. Now let's move up the cape a little bit, see how it looks. Then we can switch to Edit Mode and make it look good using Proportional Editing. Rotate using R, Move using G, and Scale using S. I don't need it to be ideal, just to be ok from our camera view. Now let's create light, again using Shift A, and choose Sun. 
Both approaches and set strength to something around 10 and angle to something around 120. And don't forget to change render engine to cycles. You can play with light settings and color to make it look good. If you don't want the background lights, you can set the strength to zero. To make transparent background, go to Scene, Film and click Transparent. Also, you can add reference images using Shoot A, Image, Reference. Or add extra objects to your scene. You can use Sketchfab for this. When finished, to render the image, press F12. After rendering is done, go to Image, Save As and choose PNG. Now let's go to Photoshop and open our rendered file. And create black rectangle for a background to see small changes better. Next, double click on layer to open layer options, then click drop shadow and make it white and thin. With this method you can create a nice effect of light outlining the model. Now I wanna add some rain to the front, so I'm gonna look for transparent images of rain on Google. And some noir city to the background. You can correct the image using stem, but rasterize the layer before doing it. And now we can lower the background opacity and add rain. You can play with color if you want and add some text. And this is it. I hope you find this video helpful and thank you for watching. You can make a lot of nice thumbnails using this technique. And if you like what I do, please subscribe and hit the like button or dislike if you think it was awful. Well, anyway, see you in the next videos.